Shalom. Damn it! This is Rabbi Saul Solomon with a rabbinical reflection for the week of August 18th, 2013. A judge in Newport, Tennessee, and I think just by the location you know this is going to be good, a judge in Newport, Tennessee took it upon herself to rename a baby. The parents were in court to change the type's last name, and they couldn't agree which to use, the father's last name or the mother's last name. So, child support magistrate Lou Ann Ballou, and I think just by that name, you know this is going to be really good, Judge Lou Ann Ballou had to make the call on this seven-month-old infant. She gets distracted, however, by the baby's first name. The parents have named the kid Messiah. Apparently, this is a very popular choice. According to Social Security, it's one of the fastest rising baby names. It's rising so fast, you could actually escape with it out of Egypt while other names had to stay flat and unleavened. I don't know what that means, but the point is, they named the kid Messiah, and the judge is not pleased. So, her honor took it upon herself to change not the baby's last name, well, she changed that too, to include the names of both parents, very wise, but she also changed the infant's first name to Martin. Why? Because Gavel Girl said the word Messiah is a title that has only been earned by one person, and that one person is Jesus Christ. Unquote. I told you, it's Tennessee. Leaving aside religion for a moment, which is tough because I'm a rabbi, or at least I played one on TV, what business is it of this judge to be changing a name that the parents agreed upon for their zygote? If I go into traffic court to buy a ticket, is she going to tell me I got to fix my garage door too? Judge Ballou said she was doing the name switch for the benefit of the child who is too young to have any control over a name that might bring him difficulty with his peers. Really? So tell that to every kid named Irving, Bertha, Dick, Scott, which he learns very early rhymes with snot, Luke, which rhymes with puke, Regina, Yussel, and Mulva. I wonder if this judge had been around 50 years ago. Would the biggest pop superstar in the world be named Millicent instead of Madonna? This judge is letting Christianity affect her sanity. What about all the millions of Hispanics who go around naming their kids Jesus? That's a pretty damn big burden to live up to, and I don't even believe in the guy. Why is Madonna acceptable? Why is Jesus Jesus kosher? Well, he probably was. Why is Moshe, Moses, perfectly common for a name? And God knows there isn't a Muslim driving a taxi who isn't named Muhammad, but Messiah is off limits. I can understand why some baby names are seen as borderline child abuse. A couple in New Zealand were forbidden from naming their child Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii. A Chinese mom and dad tried to name their kid the at symbol. And let's not forget that New Jersey couple who named their offspring Adolf Hitler an Aryan nation before, big shock, losing custody. But Messiah... Who could object to that? The Goyim think he's already come. The Jews are worried he'll never come. Either way, it's a hopeful, happy name. If I and my dear wife Miriam Libby decide to have another baby to add to our 21 and a half mostly beautiful children we have now, I'd be proud to name him Moshiach. First of all, we need another M, because my great-uncle Melky just died. But also, because naming your child something that means leader or savior seems a lot more promising than calling them Apple or Laquisha or Moon Unit or the artist formerly known as Blanket. The mother of Martin, FKA Messiah, is appealing the name change, and I hope she wins. The ACLU is in her corner because the courts have no more right to tell women what to name their babies than southern politicians have to force women to deliver babies. Uncle Sam, stay out of the bedroom, stay out of the nursery, and stay out of the kitchen too, unless you can cook a brisket, in which case, Come by Friday night, we're having people, and go easy on the paprika because my wife's allergic. 
This has been a rabbinical reflection from Rabbi Sal Solomon, a.k.a. Flora Does the Hora in Bora Bora, Temple Sons of Bitches in Great Neck, New York.